Hello everyone, my name is Thomas. I'm a principal technology specialist at Magdamot, and I'm joined by Yeshin from the University of Amsterdam, who is completing her internship with us. Today, we would like to present to you how we leverage Lama Index to evaluate our RAG pipeline. But first, let me start with a short introduction to Magdamot. Magdamot is a large APC company operating in over 54 countries and including more than 30,000 employees. Here's a few examples of what we do. We design, fabricate, and install offshore platform connecting wind farm to land in the North Sea. We develop carbon capture technology for steel production, or we build the largest liquid hydrogen tank in the world for the NASA. Over the past couple of years, Magdamot Engineering had established an AI team with the primary objective of developing and implementing AI-based solution to optimize our engineering for workflow, to reduce manual repetitive tasks, and improve the quality of our project deliverables. We already developed few solutions based on computer vision or machine learning. And for what we're discussing today, we develop a LLM solution that we call InfoWiz. So InfoWiz is a typical chatbot app that allows users to query technical documents. This is a solution that worked quite well and that was developed relatively quickly thanks to Lama Index, Azure OpenAI, and the Victor framework. However, as we sought to make possible improvements, we realized the need for quantitative evaluation. Should we modify the prompts, improve the retrieval, or modify hyperparameters? It was impossible for us to know what was the impact of the change we wanted to implement. There was an initial plan to engage with technical experts within the company to, ve to evaluate the output of the RAG. Unfortunately, this approach proved to be time-consuming and not easily repeatable. So this was Yishin's focus, to find a solution to this challenge. And I will now hand it over to her to explain how that solution was implemented. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. And let me further explain the evaluation of InfoWiz. And let's start from the introduction of the structure of it. So InfoWiz is developed with Llama Index framework for the retrieval augmented generation, RAG. RAG part can improve LIM with external resources. And when we speak of external resource, that represents for engineer support files like Unify ICT, which contains checklist, guideline, and work instruction, three topics. And uh, first of all, if we want to develop a RAG system, we need to prepare the vector database for retrieval information. In that case, we need to prepare all the resource files we mentioned before, split them evenly into chunks, and embedding the chunks into vectors called nodes. We're going to store these nodes in the vector database. And let's start from a user, try to use the system. So let's start from the right bottom side. If a user is going to interact with our system, they're going to send his or her query to the user interface. So we can get the query in the backend. We're going to embed in the query into a query vector. And remember, we have a vector database. So we're going to compare the query vector with the vectors, all the vectors in the database one by one and calculate their similarity score. We retrieve the top K results based on the score and going to put these results with the prompt we set in advance in the LLM. And finally, we will get a score, uh, get an answer out of that and return to the user through the user interface. In the left the bottom side, here are some hyperparameters we set in advance. Notably, we set them as naive because we want to set a baseline first. And uh, of course, we could improve them in the future. So now we have a useful virtual assistant to help our engineers. But how do we know the performance? We can't just uh, evaluate them on the eyeball. Naturally, we want convincing and measurable indicators to tell if the system is good or not. And of course, we want to continuously improve the user experiences. But how can we improve the system in the future? So finally, we want evaluation. Especially, we want evaluation-driven development. Furthermore, we're going to design matrix to guide improvement to the right direction. 
ideally, we want humans to do that. But human evaluation have several shortcomings. For example, first, human evaluation is time consuming and expensive. Also, especially because we need domain specific knowledge, we need to hire ex expert or experts to do that, which makes, makes it more expensive. And moreover, human evaluation is inconsistent, easily porn to bias. Even we set criteria, the scores could be subjective. So human evaluation could be really costly, both money-wise and time-wise. Of course, we want to use machines to do that, to overcome the shortcomings. But traditional machine method, machine learning methods have their own shortcomings. For example, old lexical matrix like Blue and Raj, which are widely used in LP tasks, are useless in our case because they often miss the meaning and relevance in the sentences. For example, if we want to compare the generated answer with the reference answer, uh, they usually just mis-evaluate them as bad or wrong because sometimes the generated answer could have, could miss or have additional words. But in fact, the generated answer and the reference answer means the same. In this case, we need a more intelligent evaluator. Fortunately, GPT 4.0 released and it has impressive in performance on evaluation based on the work by Zheng LLM as a judge. It basically has three advantages over the other methods. First of all, it, its performance aligns with human grading. So according to he, their study, GPT 4.0 can reach as high score as human being on several NLP tasks, including evaluation and text generation. Moreover, because InfoWiz is not released, it's still in the testing phase, so we are lack of data set. Of course, we can leverage its skill for data set generation. So we have a pipeline of uh, evaluation I'm going to introduce now. So we have a source file, and we're going to put it into GPT 4.0 to generate query answer pair. This query and answer are regarded as, uh, this answer by GPT 4 are regarded as reference answer since GPT 4.0 has as good performance as human. And more, we are going to put the query into the InfoWiz to get the generated answer. So we will have the query, the reference answer, and generated answer together. These three are enough for further evaluation. Based on the pipeline, we processed the 58 documents and the got 564 question answer trade, which contain generated answer, reference answer, and the query together. On the top left the table, it shows not only the, the whole number, but also the percentage of question answer trade based on the topics. The table below shows the other features rather than the trade. We also include context and source file names, etc., inside the dataset for further evaluation. For our benchmark, we need not only dataset, but quantitative aspects like matrix. So we need to choose a useful evaluation tool for meaningful matrix. Additionally, InfoWiz is designed based on Llama Index library. So for consistency, we choose Llama Index built-in evaluation tool. Moreover, it has three main advantages over other products. First, it has active community and is open source. Second, it has rapid iterative development. Finally, and most important, it is easy to implement. As we showed at the right side, here are some example codes. We can easily use the building evaluation tool by lines of codes. Also, for a few short evaluation, in our case, the other method methods require work on designing and tightening grading prompt templates. But Llama built-in evaluation tool already implemented them a useful prompt template, which is ready to use.
so we don't need extra work on fine-tuning the prompt templates. Now I'm going to introduce the matrix we choose one by one. So as we can see in the right bottom side, this figure shows the four matrix we implemented. It has two aspects, generation part and the retrieval part. Generation part, we have three matrix, which are faithfulness, answer relevancy, and correctness. Retrieval, we have context relevancy. And we're going, I'm going to introduce one by one. First is faithfulness. Faithfulness means judge if a given piece of information is supported by the context without any query. It measures the consistency of the generated answer against the given context to measure the hallucination. So the input is answer and context. The output is binary. It's either relevant or non-relevant. So the output is only zero or one. The next matrix is answer relevancy. It is to judge if the response is relevant to the query. It's for verifying if the answer is similar to the original query. So the input is query and the generated answer, and it's relevance answer free. It has three possible output, could be 0, 0 0.5, and 1. The next one is correctness. It's to judge the accuracy of the generated answer when compared to the ground truth answer, like reference answer. So the input requires the all trace, query, generated answer, and reference answer. The possible output is from zero to five and split uh, and allow partial partial scores. So it could be zero, zero point five, one, one point five, tail five. And finally is context relevancy. It measure how is the retrieved context focus on the answer. It shows the amount of relevant information over noise. If the retrieved contacts from document sources are relevant to the query. And the input is query and context. The output is from 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8, and 1. As we have correctness in the matrix that has outcome from 0 to 5, I first normalized all the result scales 0 to 1. So here are visualization of results in box plus. The subplots are grouped by matrix and parts are by topics. Check list in blue, guideline in orange, and work instruction in green. Their median value is displayed above each bar. We split the full mark one evenly to the generation and retrieval phrase, assigning 0 to 0 0.5 to each. Also within the generation phrase, we distribute the score evenly among the three matrix. Also relevancy, correctness and the faithfulness. Thus, the full score formula is shown as bottom. InfoWiz eventually got a full, more, a full score of 0 0.85, competitive in industry standards, also surpasses many existing models, which typically score around 0 0.8. And we're going to analyze from different aspects. So by matrix, context relevancy, as shown in these four subplots, has relatively low score. So retrieval part still has room to be improved. And by topics, checklist in blue has the lowest score. A possible explanation is that the checklist contains a lot of tabular data. Finally, let me briefly conclude our contribution and some improvements that we can implement in the future. First, we quantitatively evaluate the performance of InfoWiz. We not only provide with a full score of InfoWiz, but also uh, detailed scores, not only on phrase like retrieval and generation, but on topics like checklist, guideline, and work instruction. Second, we find aspects of InfoWiz for future improvement, such like retrieval phrase we discussed in the result. Finally, we implement a reusable pipeline for similar products. We also establish a baseline of InfoWiz that we can compare for compare as a baseline score for future improvement. And 
in the future, we can improve InfoWiz in some directions. First, we can change the hyperparameters. For example, we can change the retrieval similarity k. We now set the k as 3. We can maybe extend it to 4 or 5 to retrieve more possible information that contains the true result. Second, we can improve the parsing phrase. We can implement Lama parse, which is the SOTA table, which is the SOTA parsing model. And it has the best uh, table extraction and support various file types, making it available for future source file expanding. Moreover, we can explore more retrieval techniques, such as rerank, hide, stands for hypothetical document embeddings. And thank you for listening.